अब हो गया चलिए रसिया और इसमें की भाई थोड़ी बात कर लेते फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज क्लियर टू अंडरस्टैंड आई ऑलवेज अपोज अगेंस्ट विच काइंड ऑफ द वॉर आई ऑलवेज अपोज बिकॉज वॉर इज कॉज टू डिवेस्टिंग द ह्यूमिनिटी एंड देर आर मेनी काइंड ऑफ द डिवेस्टिंग क्रिएटेड बाई वॉर तो आई ऑलवेज अपोज एंड अगेंस्ट सेकेंड थिंग वेन अगर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रशिया एंड यूक्रेन वर्ड लेट एस नो फर्स्टली वॉट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ रशिया हिस्ट्री ऑफ रशिया इज द रेस्पॉन्सिबल टूडे वर्ड बिटवीन द यूक्रेन एंड रशिया एज वी नो एटीन सेवेंटीन सेंचुरी इंटायर ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड is a monarchy system for it was a monarchy system first freedom fighting drive in the french revolution we have already known about it and in 1977 the monarchy name was george nicholas ii was king of russia 1884 one philosopher born in world their name was karl marx and karl marx the established principle of socialism socialism they believed all aside to the country within the one single party it meant all aside to be distributed among the citizens power distributed among the citizens it means all citizens have to right to utilize the power of the country that is the philosophy of the socialism in 1977 karl marx had two boys first name is lenin second is stalin we have read in the history book 1997 petrograd revolution there was a single revolution in the world no any <coughs> drop of the blood to be destroyed sorry <coughs> should be drop to be drop okay 1997 nicolas was hanged up finished their lives their work was finished and their empire was finished lenin was the president of russia <coughs> in history book uh, which is written in the ncert books a thought of the lenin thesis of the lenin thesis of the lenin is that first of all we would be separate from the first world war because 1914 to 1918 world war was going between the allied and the axis <coughs> sorry so first thought was the lenin we should be separate from the world war then to be clear second thought all banks should be converted into the nationalization and third is land distributed among their citizens whenever lenin was established as the president of russia after few months russia went into the civil war reason behind it a few of the people as the 90% land in russia 10% is peasants and serfdom and a government policy was that all lands would be divided according to the requirement of their citizen 
it is very clear that civil war is was happened in russia correct after 2 3 years civil war collapsed and and uh, lenin had died in 1924 after he died stalin became a president of russia in 1948 stalin was died as we know 1935 to 1945 second world war started and the name of the hitler we have already know about the hitler 1945 duration that times america and russia was a common country in the world supreme power in japan germany which is the <coughs> orbit of the world and second is ally france and britain <coughs> Russia and America both are the similar country like that the other countries when the end of the 1945s the military power of germany and japan had been completely devastating today both country have no option for the military power that is the treaty in the un Two country had been collapsed according to military power, Germany and Japan, and another two country which were the allies, France and Britain, already destroyed. It had lost a huge property, prosperity, and of the Second World War. It means both are. Even both are that time two stars would be rise in the entire world. First star is U.S. United States of America, or second is U.S.S.R. Today is Russia, and in the entire the world's Cold War would come. both of them russia and usa have identified who is correct who is not correct who is right who is not right if russia said that it is correct america said that it is not correct similarly in 1967 a professor name was mikhail gorbachev entered in the politics into russia he was agent of america that is absolutely correct in 1985 1996 he has become the president of russia we must to know what was the motto of mikhail gorbachev and the motto of the russia the motto of the america america always wanted at any cost Russia would be divided. Russia would be collapsed, and that was the conspiracy created against the Russia. In 1991, Russia would be divided into 15 parts. I mean to say that 15 states had been separated from Russia on the behalf of the conspiracy. American second weapons. they have to use entire the world which citizens against their countries it is the basic funda of democracy we must to know only 70 75% citizens believe in democracy 20 25% civilians did not believe in democracy so republic uh, that control believed or not believed him. similarly in russia which was the elite which was the passionate rich man could not 
support to the Russian government. They wanted separate kingdom. They wanted separate state. And this desireness was manipulated by America. In that condition was Russia had lost 15 states. And they went to very fever, very weak. Today, Mr. Putin is the president of Russia. And their dream is to change their history. They believe in combined Russia, which was established before 1990s. That is the reason to attack. And second reason is that for the Ukraine, Ukraine has non-diplomatic president, non-politician president, because he was working in TV serial, and he is a comic actor. In my opinion, he is not absolute perfect for the president of Ukraine. This kind of the personality could not have run their government. Second thing, Ukraine president is feeble in the diplomacy, politics. And again, Britain and America convinced them against to the Russia. And that is the reason of war. Mr. Putin in the mind of the patriot, in the mind of the Deshbhakti. And uh, what will be the advantage, disadvantage, and uh, what will the situations entire the world so would be created? We don't see. That is the actual reason. Mr. Putin always wanted to reconcile their history. And that is the reason behind it. Of Yes, yeah, something. Come on, man. So, let's video go. Bandh kare. One minute.